Welcome to a macro view where we take an in-depth look at Rule 20 macros and break them down in an attempt to make you a better macro maker. Thanks for joining me. My name is Jim. Let's get started. Welcome to the channel, everybody. This video we're going to talk about the Dragonborn Breath Weapon. It's uh, Dragonborn is a class that has a breath weapon. If you look at the Dragonborn, <clears throat> they have to pick their ancestry. And it can be black, blue, brass, bronze, copper, gold, green, red, silver, or white. <clears throat> and they all have an appropriate damage type. And half of them have a 5 by 30 foot line as their AoE. And the other half have a 15 foot cone. And then the, the actual weapon. So once they've picked this when they create their character. Then it says you use your action to exhale destructive energy. Your draconic ancestry determines the size, shape, and damage type of your exhalation. Ex exhalation. When you use your breath weapon, each creature in the area of the exhaust exhalation. That's a weird word. Must make a saving throw the type of which is determined by your draconic ancestry right here con save deck save uh, da, 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 da. the dc for the saving throw equals eight plus your constitution modifier plus your proficiency bonus a creature takes two dice six damage on a failed save half as much on a success the damage increases to three dice six at sixth 4-6 at 11, 5-6 at 16. So this, after you use breath, we can't use it again to a short or long rest. This uses scaling, just like the rest, well, the, uh, the last six or so we've looked at. But this is a little different in that all of them we've looked at so far were level 5, 11, and 17. This is level 6, 11, and 16. But it, it works exactly the same way, and I'll show you. So let's build one. We have a Dragonborn in our group. His name is Rager. And so this macro is going to refer to as Rager. You would, you would change that to the name of your Dragonborn in your group or yourself. And so we're, he is a, I'm pretty sure he's a silver. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go. Start with the default template as normal. And then we're going to call this name equals silver breath weapon. We're going to end the row. And so we're first thing we're going to do is get AOE. So AOE is 15 foot cone. So the DM then we'll be able to see that it's a 15 foot cone. So now we need the DC for the save and it is made up of, so we're gonna go DC is, and we're gonna roll eight, okay, because so it says here, the DC equals eight plus your constitution modifier plus your proficiency bonus. So eight plus, and we're going to go get Zrager's <clears throat> Constitution, sorry, Zrager Pipe Constitution underscore mod plus at Zrager Pipe PB. which is his proficiency bonus. And then we're going to end the row and end the row. So let's run that and see what happens. Okay, first thing we need to do is go here. At the end of the row, after the row, we're gonna say it is a 
Silver is a con save. Constitution save. All right, so now let's run this. Okay. So now you know you if you notice the last spells don't have a box because we didn't we needed to add the eight plus the other modifier and PB. So we had to put it in a roll, which is no big deal. It just shows you that it's eight plus three plus four, which is his eight plus his constitution modifier plus his proficiency bonus. So the DM can now see it's a DC 15 constitution saving throw. So then after that, <clears throat> we're going to do the damage. And if we look at this, uh, silver is cold damage. Cold damage. <clears throat> and we're going to scale it. If you want to <clears throat> know exactly how scaling works, uh, video 14 goes into to great detail to explain how this syntax is working. So we're just going to put it in. We're going to... It starts with two dice, and then we're going to add it to, and normally, if you've watched the last five or six videos, one of them, it would look like this, 5, 11, 17, but in this case, those aren't the levels, and this one, it is, if you look at it, 6th uh, level, 11th, and 16, so... We're going to go 6, 11, and 16. And then let's stand and we're going to go get Zrager's level. Zrager pipe level. We're going to brackets and it's going to be a D. According to this, 6. 6. Bracket and the rope. So let's run that. And according to this, uh, Zrager is currently at level 9. So according to this, he should have... Starts with 2 at level 1, and 3 at 6, and he's not 11 yet, so he should have 3 die 6 when we run this. Make sure I copied it. Okay. Run it. Cold damage is 3 die 6. So it scales properly in that it's determining that he is, according to this, he is higher than level 6, but not level 11 yet. And then, one more bit of information is full damage on fail, half on success. And let's run that. Make sure it works. So when they use a breath weapon, the DM can look at this. He knows it's an AOE 15 foot cone. It's a DC 15 constitution save. It's cold damage and he takes full damage on a fail half on a success. So that's how the breath weapon macro works. Now in the description, I am going to put every one of these right here. Black, blue, brass, bronze, copper, gold, green, red, silver, and white. And it'll say right here if it's black, blue, brass, whatever. So they'll all be in there. You just copy and paste the one you want. Now the caveat again, I have to explain on every time we use scaling. YouTube will not let us put a less than sign in the description. So I have to put it in like this, less than sign. And then I put a note that says change where it says less than sign to an actual less than sign. Even though I can't type a less than sign, I have to tell you. And then you, when you put the code in there, you will change it to that. And of course, you're going to change the name. Here's Rager to your Dragonborn. So that is the Dragonborn Breath Weapon. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day, and we will see you on the next one.